Taylor Farrar, we've reported that Singapore was the first government to approve lab-grown chicken. I still wonder, though, how it tastes. Well, Brian, just hop on a flight to Southeast Asia. Fake chicken made its official debut at a posh restaurant there over the weekend. When you sit down at a restaurant and order chicken, you're probably expecting something that once actually plucked, right? Well, the U.S. company Eat Just grows their chicken in a lab. Chief executive Josh Tetrick has a vision for providing meat that doesn't require tearing out forests, displacing animal habitats, or using antibiotics. One of the biggest points of comparison between what we're doing and the old way of doing things is food safety. And when you make that comparison, the difference is staggering. To eat real, actual meat without causing all this harm to the planet and to animals. Those are the ideals behind the effort to grow meat in a new way. And they might be onto something. Demand for meat is rising. It's projected by 2050, meat consumption will increase more than 70%. There are some real concerns about what it will take to produce all the extra animal protein. In 2013, the first lab-grown burger cost $280,000 to develop. That was 2013. Now, it just says it's found ways to lower costs and expects its product to compete with the price of premium chicken at high-end restaurants. We came up with the idea to use one feather from the single best chicken that we could find. The first thing we need to do is we need to identify a cell that we are going to use as the basic starter material. And then what we need to do is find a food for it to grow in. So we have to identify the right set of nutrients that will cause the cells to multiply. And multiply and multiply until... Until maybe one day when you bite down on a tasty chicken nugget. It may have started in a tube, not an egg.